Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, Alex Jones is getting his clock clean by the Sandy Hook families. So it just came out this afternoon, the jury decided conspiracy theorists, Alex Jones should pay nearly a billion dollars in damages to Sandy Hook families for his lies about the school massacre. So this decision was made in the state of Connecticut. Oh man, Alex is getting his clock clean for real. Mm, you better worry a little less about Kanye and more about yourself. Far right, talk show host Alex Jones should pay eight families of Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting victims and one first responder $965 million in compensatory damages. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. A Connecticut jury decided Wednesday, capping a wrenching weeks-long trial that put on display the serious harm inflicted by the conspiracy theorist lies. With its punishing award, the decision should shrink or even doom Jones Infowar Media Empire. Yeah, I tell you what, it will do something. That amount of money? That's crazy which has been at the center of a major conspiracy theories dating back to former President George W. Bush administration and was embraced by President Donald Trump. The plaintiffs and their attorneys were visibly emotional when the jury's decision was read. The decision marks a key moment in the years-long process that began in 2018 when families took legal action against Jones and his company. Free speech, uh, free speech Systems, the parents of the fringe media organization Infowars. Mm, mm, mm. Jones baselessly said again and again after 2012, that's when the mass shooting took place in Sandy Hook, which uh, 26 people were killed and that the incident was staged and that families and first responders were crisis actors. You know, I was listening to Alex Jones back, not in 2012, this was at another time. And he was saying that even then, it had to be maybe like 2016, 2017. Yes, I've heard him say stuff like that. So the plaintiff uh, throughout the trial described the pugnant terms, how uh, the lies had prompted unrelenting harassment against them and compounded the emotional agony of losing their loved one. Yeah, Alex Jones' followers were calling these families all through the night and even going as far as telling these families they didn't even have children. I was like, y'all got some nerve for real. So, ladies and gentlemen, the plaintiffs in the case included family members of eight school students and employees, in addition to one FBI agent who responded to the scene. The three cases were all condensed into a single trial. Jones was not in the courtroom for the verdict, he was streaming live when the verdict uh, decision came and it was read in court and then uh, mocked the decision on his Infowar show and used it to uh, raise funds. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't be mocking anything if I were you, Alex Jones, but then again, when do you take advice? It's unclear when or how much the money the plaintiffs will ultimately see. Jones said that he will appeal the decision and during his Wednesday broadcast said that ain't no money to pay the massive figure the jury awarded the plaintiffs. Yeah, they gon' <laughs> those families are going to break you financially for real, Alex Jones. That's what they're going to do. They're going to break you financially. So 
Christopher Mattel, an attorney for the plaintiff, urged jurors to award at least a half a million dollars for having permanently mangled the lives of his clients. The figure, he said, would represent more than $550 million online impressions Jones Sandy Hook lie allegedly received online. So you may say that is astronomical. It is, Mattel said. So Alex Jones, man, I think if he didn't go on and on and on with this thing for years, it would not have been nothing like this. It would never have been like this. But like I said, when you're unrelenting on here, yeah, it can cost you just like Alex Jones. But see, you know, he got his followers heavily into what he was doing. And I think that really made it worse when they sat and made all those phone calls and they just really got the, the motion going on this entire trial. The decision in Connecticut comes two months after a separate jury in Texas determined that Jones and his company should award two Sandy Hook parents who sued in the state nearly $50 million. Later this month, the judge in the case will consider whether to reduce the punitive damage awarded under Texas law. While Jones initially lied about the 2012 shooting, he later acknowledged that the massacre had occurred and that he faced multiple lawsuits, but he failed to comply with the court order during the discovery process of the lawsuit in Connecticut and Texas, leading the family in each state to win by default judgments against him. During the latest trial, families of the Sandy Hook victims offered emotional testimony telling the jury in haunting terms how Jones lies about the shooting had permanently altered their lives and compounded with the pain of losing their loved ones. Jones, who was cross-examined by the plaintiff's attorney, but chose not to testify in his own defense, as was originally planned, sought to portray himself as a victim of an elaborate deep state conspiracy <laughs> against him. I guess that didn't work on that jury because they weren't buying it, Alex Jones. In a particular explosive moment in the trial, Jones tangled with an attorney for the plaintiff accusing him of ambulance, tra uh, ambulance chasing and uh, before descending into an unhinged rant in court about the liberals. So you went in a courtroom and start ranting about liberals? Mm, mm, mm. You know, the last time I heard about a courtroom rant was Richard Spencer. Y'all remember that? And they ended up losing the civil suit, you know, in Charlottesville. And he got stuck. Uh, and I'm sure he probably didn't pay it because he, he claimed he's broke millions of dollars. So, mm -mm -mm. so Alex Jones went in the damn courtroom and started ranting about liberals. Wow. You just can't stay focused on yourself. So, um, the judge overseeing the case admonished Jones several times during his testimony, warning him even at one point that he could be held in contempt of court if he violated her rules moving forward. Jones had attacked the judicial process, even acknowledging in court that he had referred to the proceedings as those of a kangaroo court and called the judge a tyrant. He has already indicated that he plans to appeal. Yeah, you may plan to appeal, Alex Jones. That don't mean you're going to win the appeal. I'm just saying. Really got yourself in a big mess. 
Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.